Hey guys and girls, you know that guy who says he teaches you how to trade stocks? Well, I'm that guy who teaches you how to trade the markets. Not just stocks, but Forex and cryptocurrencies. Today I'm going to show you how to trade Ichimoku using fractals. But before we get started, please have a look at our disclaimer, disclaimer and understand that trading involves substantial risk and may not be suitable for all investors. Past performance is not indicative of future results. I am not an, a financial advisor and therefore not registered with the U.S. Securities Exchange Commission or the Financial Industry Regulatory Authority. You should be aware of all the risks associated with trading and seek advice from an independent financial advisor if you have any doubts. Now today I'm not going to lead you on by telling you that you can get a big house or a fancy car or a boat just from trading. Sure, those things are possible, but that should not be your main focus. Your focus should be about the long journey ahead, making trading your business and being your own boss. Now, I want to show you how to use the techniques of, with trading Ichimoku and fractals, but first, let me show you how exactly this worked for me the past few months. So here's my trading account. So for the past month of June, I traded seven trades and I made $3,987.88. I won five of those trades and lost two of those trades. All right, so you can have these same results. Now, I want to teach you how to achieve these same goals, but before I even get started, I want to let you know that I'm offering for a short time a lifetime membership to my site where you'll have lifetime access to all of my content on my website forever. This includes all of my current courses, and my upcoming courses such as the Ichimoku basic course, the Ichimoku advanced course which is already out, all three of these are out, the high probability price action course which is out, and then I have a new course coming out which is the new fractal course which should be coming out within the next week or two, and then a stock course which is coming out shortly. These courses will not only teach you how to trade with Ichimoku but also with a naked chart using price action and fractals also divergence and other techniques so I know you're anxious to see the strategy so I'll tell you really quickly that this offer is only $250 for a lifetime membership and I'll discuss this after the session and let you know exactly how you can take advantage of this offer so I'm going to assume that you already know a little bit about Ichimoku and if you don't, that's another good opportunity for you to purchase my course, become a member and purchase my course. So let's just start from here and talk about a little bit about what Ichimoku is. Ichimoku is a systematic theory of financing. A systematic theory is a technique to make financial analysis not only by the price, but also other elements such as trend, waves, support lines, target price, and the point where market price turns. Therefore, Ichimoku is one of the systematic and technical theories such as GAN theory and Elliott wave theory. Ichimoku can capture the equilibrium state of the market with one glance. The system focuses on the current state of price with the realization that prices are moved by the various fluctuating factors on a daily basis. What is important then is the power that the current price itself has. So therefore it is a one-time equilibrium table concept that investments could be won by knowing the equilibrium state of the current price. Price movement is influenced by time. A chart is two-dimensional with prices on the vertical axis and time on the horizontal axis. Many traders are only concerned with the price on the vertical axis. However, the time on the horizontal axis simply does not proceed forward as it is under control of price movements that occurred in the past and the current price move has a big impact on the future. In the flow of time, there is a kind of periodicity rhythm and entrance and a con consolidation and it's a one-time equilibrium table that systematizes the relationship between time and price fluctuation. The three major elements of Ichimoku are the time theory, the wave theory, and the value range observation theory. These are very important elements but I will be focusing on the basic concepts of Ichimoku. Fractals are the tools of technical analysis developed by um, successful trader Bill Williams. Fractals define very complex and chaotic structure of price movements into smaller waves. As such, they can help us define order and structure in the markets. Many people believe that the markets are random. However, many others argue that although prices may appear to be random, they do not 
they do in fact follow a pattern in the form of trends. Fractals essentially break down larger trends into extremely simple and predictable reversal patterns. A fractal pattern on a bar or candle chart on any time frame consists of a minimum of five candles or bars. So for the sake of this study, we're going to be using candlesticks. The middle candle must have a higher high or lower low than the two preceding bars and the two following bars. If a candle's high is parallel to the middle candle, high or low, it does not count as one of the five candles in the fractal sequence because it does not have a lower high or higher low than the middle candle. Fractals do not repaint. Once a fractal, always a fractal. So a fractal is created with a series of five candles. All right, bull fractals are created when there are two can um, consecutive candles on each side of the third candle with lower highs. Lower highs on both sides of this third candle make this into a fractal. Had this candle not finished developing and had a higher low, I mean a higher high, then it would have been no fractal here. But as it starts out, it shows this as a fractal. And if it closes that way, it stays a fractal. If it doesn't close that way, it won't show that as a fractal. And therefore, it is not repainting itself. A bear fractal is created when there are two consecutive candles on each side of the third candle with higher lows. Here you see the third candle and two higher lows on each side. And then finally, shared fractals are bull fractals, but the same formation also creates a bear fractal on the same candle. This happens because the two preceding bars and the two following bars are inside bars, okay? They fulfill the requirements that the middle bar must be the highest or lowest in the five candle sequence. So whenever you have a bear fractal followed by a bull fractal, you have bullish momentum. So here you have a bear fractal and then you have a bull fractal. From that point to that point, you had bullish momentum. The market moved higher, the momentum was bullish. The opposite holds true is whenever you have a bull fractal followed by a bear fractal, you have bearish momentum. Okay? And then whenever you have a shared fractal, you have no momentum in the market for that time period. You could see these shared fractals. There is no momentum in the market. It is just sitting still. So Bill Williams stated that trading fractals is an, is an easy way to make sure you are trading in the direction of the market momentum. When any market makes a, a directional move, it builds up momentum. This momentum is like a rolling ball that continues to roll until it meets resistance that has more power than the momentum of the ball. The initiating fractal tells traders which way the market momentum is flowing. It also virtually guarantees being included in any significant trend move. The most basic way of trading fractals is trading fractal breaks. This is the concept we will focus on today. So here you see the market created a bull fractal. When we see that bull fractal we place a buy stop one pip above that bull fractal and then you can see the trade is triggered here you can see again the market has created a bear fractal we place a sell stop one pip below that fractal and then the trade is triggered sounds easy right easy enough what if you have two fractals which one do you follow So to help decipher which trades to take, Mr. Williams created the alligator indicator. The indicator applies convergence-divergence relationships to build trading signals with the jaw making the slowest turns and the lips making the fastest turns. The lips crossing downward through the other lines signals a short sale opportunity, while crossing upward signals a buying opportunity. This is Bill Williams' alligator indicator, these three lines. The blue line here is the jaw. The red line here is the teeth. And the green line are the lips. So the jaw, this is the balance line for the current time frame shown on the chart, which is a daily time frame that we are looking at. It's a 13 candle smooth moving average offset eight candles into the future. So you can see it's also using that offset like Ichimoku, which has that future move. You have that future into the, you can see into the future with your um, indicator. The red line, which is the teeth, 
This is the bounce line for one significantly shorter time frame. It's an eight candle smooth moving average offset five candles into the future. And then finally, this green line. This is the balance line for still one more significantly shorter time frame. It's a five candle smooth moving average offset three candles into the future. Now a balance line, what is a balance line? Well a balance line is a line showing where the market would be if there were no new incoming information. The distance between the balance line and current price is a result of new incoming information. So new incoming information would first affect the green line followed by the red line and finally the blue line. When the alligator lines are intertwined, this means the alligator is sleeping. When the alligator lines are separating, this means the alligator is awake and hungry. So here you can see the alligator lines are intertwined and that alligator is fast asleep. And now he wakes up. You can see where the lines separate. And that's when you want to start trading. Here he's hungry for bears. Here he's sleep. And here he's hungry for bulls. Now I'm not going to get deeper into the uh, indicator because I'm not here today to teach you how to trade the alligator indicator. If you want to learn how to trade this indicator, please again become a member. It gives you the opportunity to learn how to trade that. But currently we want to look at and understand what the purpose of the alligator is. So the alligator provides an integra integra uh, integrated approach to monitoring the market's momentum on three different time frames on one chart. It provides a simple indicator to know when a trend starts and stops. It creates a protection device so as to know as to not lose money during a bracketed range bound market. And it provides an advanced indicator to signal the end of a trend. Well, that almost sounds pretty much just like Ichimoku. All right. The purpose of, each of Ichimoku is to provide an integrated, integrated um, approach to monitoring the um, market's momentum. It provides now you and the way we do that is through our Tinkinson and Kijinson and also along with our longer distance a longer time frame with our um, cloud. It provides a simple indicator to know when a trend starts and stops and you know that with your TK crossovers basically. It creates um, a protection device as to not lose money during a bracketed range bound market. When you see a flat Tinkinson, a flat Kijinson, a flat cloud you know you're in a range bound market and it provides an advanced indicator to signal the end of a trend. Pretty much the same thing as the alligator. So therefore we're going to use Ichimoku to our advantage and trade with that. So how do we enter a bullish fractal break trade? Because this is the trades we're going to trade. It's bullish fractal breaks and bearish fractal breaks. So I'm going to show you about the bullish fractal breaks and it's just the opposite for a bearish fractal break. Wait for a bullish TK crossover where Tinkinson crosses Kijinson from below to above. Next, you're going to find the first bull fractal after the TK cross. Place a buy stop one pip above the bull fractal. So your stop loss can be a variety of levels such as previous bear fractal, candle low that violates the fractal, the fractal low of the violated fractal, um, close below Tinkinson or Kijinson. Your choice is based on risk management. And then finally, profit is at um, a close below Tinkinson, Kijinson or bear fractal level. All right, so here you see we have a TK crossover. So with this TK crossover, it's a bullish crossover. We would place a buy stop one pip above the previous bull fractal. And with that, here's our buy stop entry. And here we're triggered. We got triggered on the first trade, and then we had another trading opportunity here. We got triggered again. So looking at that, you have opportunities here every time the market violates these fractals. Now, I didn't mark every fractal here because some of these fractals, let's go back up here. Some of these fractals were not getting violated here. So this fractal never really was violated. And then we could have marked this fractal here as violated right here. But then we got violated with this candle. This one got violated with this candle. And then this level got violated with this candle. And then finally, we broke our um, fractal in the opposite direction. Therefore, we start to wait to see what the TK crossover is going to do, and that may signal that we start to trade to the downside. But had you gotten into the trade at this level here, 
and you stayed in all the way this would have signaled definitely take all your profit there okay and had you done that and stayed in all that time you would have netted 1154 pip profit right here from this first trade to this level okay so now let's just go and look at some real-time examples basically and see what the market really looks like as we do these trades okay so we're looking at the Aussie cat on the daily time frame so when we're trading this you can trade this on any time frame okay and like I said with any asset I'm gonna show you um, also how to trade this I'm gonna use a um, crypto pair next but while you're trading this you can trade on any time frame but you want to be aware of your fractal of your um TK crossovers right so back here we had a bearish crossover so we would only want to trade these breaks of the um, bear fractal breaks here all right so you wouldn't want to trade this candle right here you wouldn't want to trade that bull fractal break then when the market came down you would just be trading the bear fractal breaks now granted you will have some losses but when you catch the bigger trade it'll make up for some of your losses and you want to try to keep your losses as small as possible so I'm going to show you today how to trade basically just following either your Tenkinsen, Kijinsen or your um, fractal level but also the easiest way to move your stop loss is going to be to go to the four hour time frame and we're going to look for our stop loss on the four hour time frame while we trade off the daily so for today I'm just going to show you the basic stop loss of using the Tenkinsen, Kijinsen or the previous fractal level or the candle that violates because now if I get to a point where I take a trade and I have a big move like this I'm going to my four hour time frame and especially when I see a candle like this I usually put my stop loss up under that candle all right when you see these kinds of candles when you see an indecision candle I'll put a stop loss I'll move it up and bring it right up under that level okay so now when we trade this just think about the levels where I told you where you can have your stop losses and then if the market comes back and violates one of your fractals in the opposite direction that's where your profit is so you take profit at that level so I'm not gonna sit here and show every single level but I'm gonna show exactly how you could do this as it is so let's get started let's see how it goes and then we'll work it out from here so the market gives us a fractal and we have a bull fractal break so these I mean we have a bullish um, TK crossover so these crossovers are basically this Tinkinson is your green line and the blue line is your Kijinsen this was a bearish TK crossover because your Tinkinson broke Kijinsen, Kijinsen from above to below but in this case it broke from below to above right here so that's bullish so you're gonna follow and trade the direction of that of the um, TK crossover so now when we get a fractal break we want to trade the bull fractal breaks we would not trade this break right here so no matter how long it takes for the candle to break such as in this case we wouldn't trade this but however long it takes to get to this point we would that's where we would go so now we already have a bull um, fractal so we're gonna that's gonna be our first entry opportunity all right and then remember your stop losses you can I'm not gonna place my stop losses I'm just gonna show you where our entries are so basically if you decide to become a member I'm going to show you even more how to trade this strategy even lock it up even tighter so that you um, maximize your profits and also eliminate some of your losses there's more things we can do there's so much more you just see the basic stuff and don't realize how much more you could do to these trades and setups all right so let's continue on so that's our level that's our entry level and we're triggered into the trade now so we made a little bit of profit right and we're making some more profit and we made profit and we made pretty good profit so a lot of times when I see a candle like that I put my stop loss under that kind of candle because that's indecision right there and it's showing you that the market's getting weak plus we're getting farther from Kijinsen so I'm just showing you the basic stuff right now so I'm not gonna go deeper into these stop losses at this point and I'm gonna show you where definitely want to take profit but I I put my stop loss up here and then the final place that I would place my stop loss or take my tar profit would be here or the next fractal that's developed because the next fractal that's developed is where we want to take profit 
so the next bearish prof, uh, fractal that's developed but also if we close inside of Tinkinson, that can also be a level where we want to take profit. So you have a variety of things you can do, and you have to decide which works best for you, which way you like the most. Okay. So we also got triggered here. But now, no matter what we do, we're going to have a, this is definitely our, tar, our um, this is going to de definitely where we would take profit or move our stop loss up to, depending on what we were doing. Now, if you take this trade, this is a trade that you would take. And in this case, if you take this trade, because you got triggered here, right? So if you take this trade, you're triggered because you're one pip above, you would be stopped out here. Now, had you gotten in this trade here and waited for this profit down here, you wouldn't have made as much profit. But had you moved your stop loss up to, like I'm saying, then you would have made more profit. And then also, if we go on the four-hour time frame, we could even make more profit. So let's continue with this. So the market drops lower and now we're still looking for the bull fractal breaks because we haven't had a crossover. All right? And we have a fractal down here, right? We do not trade that fractal. We do not take this trade short because we do not have a crossover. So this is helping you to be in a little bit higher probability because there's also another way to trade these breaks of fractals, different fractals other than what I'm showing you. But this is the main basic way that you want to trade it. All right. So then the market gets kind of crazy here. All right. And then you get a crossover. This is a bearish crossover. So from this point, we're going to trade the bear fractal breaks. Right. But the market continues moving higher. It looks like we're still moving higher. Getting a pullback. And now we got a bullish crossover. So now we're going to trade the fractals again, the next immediate bull fractal. So this is the next immediate bull fractal. It developed two candles later, if you remember the ways that fractals are developed. So we're going to put an entry two ticks above that level, two pips above that level, one pip, sorry, above that level. And we're probably triggered right there. And you're probably really scared in your trade right now. But the trade goes your way. And it goes even more your way. Now, a lot of times I see this, I kind of get worried in the market. And I like to get out and take some profit. Or else I go to the four-hour time frame, excess, especially when I see a nice rejection like that. The market continues and then it drops to the downside. So there's another fractal. We're going to put our entry here. And we still have our crossover to the upside. We're triggered again. All right. And now the market pulls back inside. You can, you would be out of the market. Now we really want to be looking at our drop down to our four hour time frame. And you see a rejection like that you know you're probably not going too much farther. Plus, you also want to be looking at support and resistance. You can't just go blindly on the market. But these are good entries, and when you catch a good run, you catch a really good run. So now the market looks like it's really bearish. But you haven't gotten it. Now you got a bearish TK crossover right here. A bearish TK crossover. So from this point on, we're going to look at trading all the fractal breaks to the downside. This is the first fractal that you develop to the downside. We're going to put an entry at that level. I'm always cautious of the distance between uh, Kijinson and the market. And it looks like we might have gotten triggered. And yes, we are. And you can see the angulation. This is what you want to see, angulation. And then that works out your way. And we're still good to go. Now we got another fractal, right? So you can add another stop loss here, another um, sell stop here. And here you have your entry that you had. You could add to this another position. Or you could have missed this and you could take this trade. 
Either way, you have another opportunity. And you're triggered now. I'm always cautious of that distance. Okay, but now this trade wouldn't have worked out, this second trade, because you would have definitely been stopped out right here. You closed above the opposite fractal in the opposite direction. You definitely are stopped out there, and you don't want that. But from this point here, we made a good profit. And if you didn't take profit, you would have taken profit here. So this would have been your profit down to this point. All right, so we're going to continue to look for the same trades. And we got another fractal here. So we're going to put an entry there. And we're triggered. And look at the angulation. Now it slows up a little bit. And the market finally violates that level. And now we're making some profit again. All right. So I'm always looking at the lower time frame to get out of the trade with maximizing my profit. The market broke another fractal right here where we could take the trade. So another entry. This candle here where we took our last entry. And you can always put your stop loss above this fractal and keep following the opposite fractals to the downside. All right. So we made some good profit and here's our next entry. Now I'm very cautious of the trade because I'm getting very wide here. When I see a very thick cloud, very wide and flattening out on the top and starting to roll over, I'm cautious that I'm not going to get much more downside. So I always like to go to my left and look at the support and resistance levels. And I would find to see if I'm at a strong support level. All right. But be cautious of that when you see that in the market with Ichimoku. And then the market closes above this fractal right here. So we never get this trade. And then this is the end of the trade. So that's it. The market violates that level. And the market goes higher. All right. And you can see the thick cloud, flat, starting to roll over. Signs that the market's changing. You're getting ready to have a bullish TK crossover and start looking for the trades in the same and the opposite direction this time. So that's basically how you trade this. I'm going to show you how to use this also right now. Let's go and look at... Um, trading with um, cryptocurrency so let's go look at a cryptocurrency asset all right so we're here getting ready to trade the BTC USD on the daily time frame so you're looking at cryptocurrencies now we just looked at Forex so we want to make sure you guys understand this works for cryptos too and it also works for stocks now stocks we trade a little bit different we do things a little bit different but still these same ideas will work for any market that you trade basically all right so now we're going to look at this on the daily time frame and again remember you can trade this on any time frame but with this TK crossover here this is a bullish crossover so Tinkinson crossed above Kijinson from below to above so that's bullish all right so you would therefore be looking for trades on this fractal right here all right and then you're going to look to enter here a lot of times I use this as my stop. You could use that as your stop, or you use this level as your stop, or your Kijinsen, or the fractal that, or the candle that violates. So you got different levels that you can use. And then also I go down to the four hour time frame, as I said, and then I'll look at the four hour and use that as my time frame. Look at a fractal break in the opposite direction on the smaller time frame. That'll help you to get out of the trade with most profit. All right. So when you come join my session, join my course, um, I'll show you more about how you do that and I'll show you exactly how you trade that lower time frame using the daily time frame as your signal. Um, so let's get it going. We want to see if we violate this level for a trade to the upside. So we didn't get triggered here and we definitely don't take this trade, right? So we wouldn't take this bearish trade because we don't have a bearish crossover. We have a bullish crossover. So we're going to continue to stay looking for the long trade. So we're going to go to this level. This is where we would look at trading next. So you have to pay attention to the market. Now you got a TK crossover that's bearish. But we have no momentum. So that's a problem. I don't like to see that. But I'm going to put my entry 
one pip below that bearish fractal. And you can see we're kind of flat. But then we get angulation and the market triggers us into a trade. So we're long, we're short here now. Now you can see we would have another entry at this point where we got triggered here. And then another entry at this point. Now, you do have a bullish fractal here, but you're not going to trade that. You're going to trade that level as you get triggered again in another trade right there. And you wouldn't trade this level again. You traded it already. This is you trade the immediate fractal. And you already had a bullish fractal develop. So you want to trade the immediate fractal. So the next fractal that's developed you would trade. So we made good profit on this trade. And then now we would look to trade this fractal. And then you can see the market starting to flatten out and we broke this fractal right here. So when the market broke this fractal right there, we are out of the market. We would be out of the market already with our profit down to this point. We would not trade this long at this point. All right. So we're still looking for the short trade. And now you see this bullish fractal. Do we trade that, guys? No, we do not trade that because our crossover is bearish. Uh-oh. But now we're getting a bullish crossover. So I would watch that level. On this crossover there, we are taking that trade. We got a crossover and an entry. So we would take that trade. And we would look to see where we want to place our stop loss in a variety of places, as noted. A couple things would have alerted me about this when we got to the bottom here. But let's continue with our trades. So you got a bullish crossover now. So now we're going to look to take these bullish breaks right here. And you get into another trade. Now you might have gotten stopped out of this one, All right? But you, you can't let yourself get stopped out where you make no profit. Even if you put your stop loss here, you may have be, you might be very close to being stopped out on that, All right? But still, the thing that I always look at is when I make profit, I never allow it to come all the way back from good profit to zero and then negative and stop me out. That's one thing you really can't do, All right? You have to be... Um, you have to be more disciplined than that. All right, but we've been having some good entries. So now look at this fractal here. This is a shared fractal. As you saw that we talked about, that means there's not much momentum at this point, and you're getting some distance on Kijinson. But you're failing to close below Tinkinson, so we still are pretty bullish. So I'm going to put an entry above this level. That's my next entry. Now I'm going to put an entry above this level. This fractal develop next. And then I'm triggered into the trade. Making some profit. And then here's your next entry. Now we're starting to see a possible change here. All right. And you can see what Ichimoku is doing. So you're getting ready to have a crossover, a bearish crossover. So if we have that bearish crossover, I'm going to put my entry here. Now we got to wait for that true crossover. So you have a crossover that's bearish. So with that bearish crossover right here, I am now looking for my short opportunities into the market. 
I'm triggered into this market. And I'm making some profit now the market pulls back on me. This would be your next entry. I'm triggered into that trade also. Now myself, I like to follow the previous fractal in the opposite direction as a stop loss. Sometimes it's very big, but depending on, you know, if you watch the market really well, you'll notice that these fractals are great stop loss levels. But again, it is a big level to determine to um, use. So sometime you'll use a smaller level and you will get stopped out. But you can see the market triggered me in. So here's a new fractal. I'm going to trade that one. Now, I don't like that I'm getting far from Kijinsen and it's flattening out. All right. So I'm probably I may have gotten triggered there. And now I did get triggered there. And then the market starts to pull back a little bit. That's basically because we had that distance on Kijinsen, like I was saying. So when you see that distance, that's a problem. But still, we're in this trade, just talking about just that at the point at this point. So we also have another opportunity here now. And we definitely don't trade that fractal. Now we have another opportunity here, so we're going to move it to that point. And we're triggered. We made some profit here and making some more profit. So as Bill Williams said, this almost guarantees you not to be left out of any good trend. So you will lose some trades here, but the ones you win will be much bigger than any losses that you'll have more than likely. Because you're going to have some pretty big wins. Now we're going to trade this level. And we're triggered again. Now see how thick we're getting here? How wide and big and thick? This kind of worries me. So what a lot of times I'll look at divergence and I'll look at the support and resistance level. And I want to make sure that level is going to hold. Because when I see this, a lot of times it lets me know that the market may be changing direction shortly here. So we got triggered on this trade and we're not making much profit. But then here's our next entry. And we didn't get triggered on that trade and now we're done. So if we had entered any of these trades, we're done here because we closed above a fractal in the opposite direction. So when you get that first close above a opposite direction fractal, you're going to take all your profit. That's all your profit. All right. And then now you'll wait to see if the market makes a new fractal and continue with trading to the downside, right? But nope, you get a crossover that's bullish. So in the meantime, I'm going to look at trading this level. Now, I don't believe that we would have got this because the market didn't give us a crossover at that point. So definitely we probably don't get that trade. But now, if there's any fractal developed from this point, we do take those long trades. So here's a fractal here. And now we're going to look for the long trade at this point. So you can see, well, we didn't get triggered yet. And then the market keeps the crossover. And then we're triggered into a nice big trade. Now. Recently, we traded this down here, but it wasn't off of the fractal breaks, okay? So there's other ways to catch some trades too. So keep that in mind. This is just one of the ways that we talk about trades. And I believe I did post this trade on YouTube. I sure did send this out to all my members though. Then you could see the market moving higher. And now you can see the next fractal. This is our next entry. But again, we're getting far from Kijinsen. It's starting to flatten out. And then we're triggered. I don't like the distance on Kijinsen, but we're following these trades. And you can see we get a big trade. 
and now our next level is right here we have barely lost any trades right now just following what the pet what the system tells us right so our next entry will be here and we do not trade that broken fractal so all of your pro all of your profit from this move up you're done trading now because you broke this fractal in the opposite direction so now you have to wait so now we still have this fractal so we start our trading over we took all of our profit from the previous move and now it looks like we're starting to get a bearish crossover and we do so now we're going to change over to trading bear fractal breaks and you can see this is our last fractal because this is where we are today this is our very last fractal so when I look at this I'm worried about the double bottoms well basically hitting this bottom level and also the distance on Kijins and so you'll probably see a pullback but that doesn't mean you won't break this level but let's just look at this really quickly I don't see any divergence I like to look at divergence if I see divergence here I pretty much look at the market moving to the upside but there's no bullish divergence all right so I'm not gonna really say that we can see the market move higher but knowing the distance that we are on with Kijinsen you might see a good pullback and then you may see this level violated again all right so that's how you trade this with Forex with cryptos with any asset you can trade this and it works good for you so I want to give you an offer to the opportunity and the chance to become a lifetime member trading and becoming a lifetime member with us all it involves is just one payment of two hundred fifty fifty dollars so when you make that two hundred fifty dollar payment you become a member for life you get everything full access for life to all of my courses everything all right so all of my courses all of my webinars I have weekly webinars I have crypto session webinars on Mondays I have um, Forex se uh, webinar sessions on Sundays and then throughout the week I'll have a webinar session based on what the markets are doing if there's trading opportunities if the markets are moving we'll look at the markets we'll have a webinar all of those webinars are archived you could look at any webinar from past um, you get the courses so I have um, Ichimoku basic course Ichimoku advanced course I have also um, a fractal course that's coming out shortly here I have a high pr um, probability price action course and then I do I also have a stock course that will be coming out shortly also so the fractal course should be out within the next week or so and then the stock course should be out within the next month or so all right and that's what we have that's what we offer chance for you to do that you go to my website you can see it up here in the upper corner right here www.fxatoneglance.com on the home page you will see an offer to become a lifetime member if you become a lifetime member you get full access to everything that I have so go to www.fxatoneglance.com on that home page click become a member once you become a member you have full access to everything and if you have any issues always send me an email and I can always hook you up and make sure everything's right for you um, I can guarantee you that you will learn a lot I cannot guarantee you how your trading success is going to be that's all up to you we can all trade the same assets the same things using the same um, techniques and everything but uh, we're all gonna have different results based off of a few things our mentality all right it's not about the trading system it's about your mentality are you gonna follow the rules that I just showed you or are you gonna break the rules are you gonna be disciplined and disciplined and patient to wait for the trades or are you gonna try to get them early and then the trade doesn't work out for you if you don't follow the directions or follow the um, techniques that we have mentioned then you're not gonna be a successful trader but if you follow the rules and your discipline and your patient the odds are even higher for you to be successful okay so this is your job basically if you want this for life you want this to be your job you have to treat it like a job so you have to do the work and the details to make yourself better so I'm offering you an opportunity to learn this trading with me it's not just Ichimoku it's not just 
Forex. It's not just cryptocurrencies. It's not just stocks. All right. It's price action. It's fractals. It's support and resistance. It's everything. We trade everything and I show you how to trade those things. Now, there's some indicators that we use, two or three indicators, basically for divergence. We never use an indicator for a signal to get into the market ever. All right. Never use that as far as like um, crossovers of, um, you know, or stochastic crossover or MACD or something like that. Williams percent R. We don't use those just to get into the market. Most of the time we want to have a signal. If we have a signal from one of those, we also want to see the price action or the momentum with it. We don't just take the trade blindly because we get a crossover of, of an indicator. All right. So, so many traders are struggling right now because they believe in these systems and then they break rules and then they don't follow the discipline. They're not disciplined and then they're wondering why they're not winning. You need to educate yourself and become educated on trading. All right. So a lot of times you don't even know what you need to learn until you learn it. All right. Because a lot of times you'll be saying to yourself, I know this, I know that. But then when you start to learn other things, you're like, wow, I, I wish I would have done that earlier. So I want to show you a couple things real quick to help you see what other members think and see what people think about um, being members here at FX at one glance. So just looking at what a few members in our chat room had to say, basically I had a new member um, as of last week and he just wanted to say, so far the content has far exceeded my expectations. Okay. And then in response to that was, I second that. I'm learning so much and love how the content is delivered. I just started the high probability price action video course. It has so much to offer. Thank you to the whole team for everything. And then someone else in response that said, I joined last week too, and I have the same thing. I say the same thing. Thanks. All right. And then he was saying, I was expecting great content based on the YouTube videos, but I wasn't expecting Carl to be so engaged with frequent posts. I'm thrilled. And then we had a member say that he joined about two months ago and said exactly the same thing before. He said, because I had watched so much of his free content already, I did not think there would be much left to learn, but it's quite the quant the contrary. Incredible value in here and during the, especially during the webinars. Okay. So this guy's letting you know that basically what you see on YouTube is not nowhere near what we show and teach, um, in our courses. Okay. And on our webinars, because there's so much content that you can learn that it's hard to put everything all at once onto YouTube and, we just focus a lot of things on our on our members okay so again I'm offering you that lifetime membership one-time fee $250 for one-time fee and you get all access to everything courses webinars archived webinars um, chat room forum weekly webinars daily webinars everything for the rest of your life that's an offer but you got to hurry because it's a limited time offer. I am not going to keep this offer up for good because basically this is a limited offer. People asked me to bring it back and I did just for them and I'm going to only do it for a short time. So if you're interested in becoming a member with us, now's your opportunity. You get lifetime access. All right. So head on over to www.fxatoneglance.com and become a lifetime member. All right, guys, until next time, God bless.